what's up guys welcome back to the arctic vet channel today we're going to be talking about my bad flagpole oh yeah i gotta go push this hood down quick. so uh i kept seeing on instagram all these corvettes kept seeing all these corvettes and these camaros and challengers and all these cars with flags on them i thought man how are they doing that well i messaged this guy on instagram that had one i was like hey where can i get one of those like what is that how do you keep your flag on your car and so he told me that he got it from badflag.com so that's what i did i went ahead and i went and ordered one and there's the website again badflag.com Basically, it's two suction cups. You got your pole here, and you can hook your flag up to it. And so far, this thing has held on really well. Now, the trouble with my car is trying to find spots to put it. Uh, when I first got it, <laughs> I actually broke one of these because I hit the top of the garage, and it snapped that. So that's why there's only one circle here. Now... Again, he did mention, um, the guy that sells these, he did mention that on vinyl, these have pulled, pulled the vinyl up, had trouble with them, stuff like this, with a white car, stuff like this happens where it's showing, but honestly, guys, this is just a wrap. I'm not worried about it a bit. So, basically what you do is you just push this on, and then you pump the this is your little pump and you just push that little button down and do this on the top and then you give it a nice tug and i mean i'm really pulling on this here and it, it stays now i've heard reports of these saying up to about 100 miles per hour down in mexico i don't know if it's true or not i believe it because i've done 75 and it didn't budge and it just it's something that gives your car just a little more fire because you know these trucks like they can just put them right in their bed right they got holes they got hitch they can put it on there well what about your sports car what are you gonna do that's what you're gonna do you're gonna buy yourself a bad flag my bad flag you can get one and you're gonna have two suction cups hook that baby up on your car and you're gonna be rocking it like the trucks do not only is like this is a really cool thing but it gets everybody's attention it, it's a way to show your pride whatever whatever fly you want to fly so I will uh, see about getting some footage of it of me driving with it might be able to do that Maybe I can confirm or deny the 100 miles an hour or break that. Maybe we'll make a new one. Say like 101 in Mexico, of course. So if you guys are looking for a way to put a flag on your vehicle, that's how you do it. I'll be sure to put a link in, the bio, in my description down below. So if you guys are interested, you can check them out. Um, I paid just under $100 for this, and to be honest, I kind of want to get three more, but wait, why, why do you need three? Okay, well, one here, one over here, and I can't treat, I got to treat Miss Dora right too, so she needs two as well, you know, because then we could put up like a, another American flag on the, on the cop car. And maybe I could get myself a flag and fly my own flag. That'd be pretty cool, I think. Anyhow, that's what I wanted to talk about today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you do decide to get a bad flag, go ahead and tag me in your post on Instagram, Facebook, or send it my way. Hold up, GTO. Ooh, get it. Is gonna get it? You guys hear that turbo because 
tag me in your posts. I want to see what your car looks like with it supporting its flag, supporting your, showing off your flag, whatever it may be. Oh, <laughs> GTO just got it. Anyways, have a great night. We'll catch you in the next one. Thumbs up, comment down below. Don't forget to click that red subscribe button. Let's get to the thousand. Let's go. Can still hear that guy. <laughs>